What's going on guys, Dots here, and today's video is going to be a quick rotation guide for Sonal Camp in BDO. The goal for these rotation guides is to be quick and to the point, showing you everything you need to know about a grind spot in as little time as possible. Now before we head out to grind, we need to set up our character with the right buffs so that we are optimizing our time spent grinding. If you're new and don't know what buffs you need, I have a guide listed in the description below that explains this topic in depth. But before we do get started on today's guide, I do just want to thank today's sponsor, Ewin Racing. I have used Ewin Racing's products now for about four years, and so I've put in hundreds and hundreds of hours in their desk chairs. Um, I had their original champion chair for a solid three and a half years, but when they told me, hey, we have an upgraded version of the chair that you're using, I, of course, wanted to try it. So I've been using this new version for a couple of months, and it is definitely a big step up over the previous one. For example, like the headrest here is magnetic, so you don't have like all the buckles and straps hanging off your chair. It just sticks right to it. You can adjust it however you want. You can ascend and descend the chair. You can rock on the chair. Um, you could obviously adjust the tilt of the back if you want to. But to me, one of the biggest things that stood out was the quality of the leather on the chair compared to the older version. So if you look, I mean, I think the camera picks it up really well. You can tell that this is nice leather and it is, especially compared to like their older versions. This is a big step up. And my favorite thing is the fact that this is perforated. Having perforated leather, to me at least, makes a really big difference in keeping me cool. So I think it's a really nice thing to have. I also do use one of their desks as well, so, you know, RGB desk. And my favorite part about it is the entire top is carbon fiber stuff. So it's like a mouse, basically the whole thing's a mouse pad. I don't have a mouse pad on my desk, but you guys can pick up any of their products. You've used the links in the description below for 30% off. And so there's really never been a better time to hop into one of their chairs or grab one of their desks. So again, link in the description below, use code dots at checkout. All right, guys. So now that we are back from the ad break, let's get into today's rotation guide for Sonal Camp. So Sonal Camp definitely is not one of the better spots in the game. It was good for a period of time after they did the big buffs to the Calpheon Elvia spots, but then Sonal Camp pretty quickly got nerfed again. And now it's like very meh. I'll throw up a, a, an image on the screen that kind of shows your money per hour. When you're at the gear range where you're able to do Sonal Camp, you're able to definitely do spots that bring in more money. Um, but the main reason I wanted to make this guide today is honestly just in case they ever do like rebuff some of the trash values or ever give you more RNG here. I want this guide just to exist so that should you need it, if, if somebody in the future is watching this video, that you will be able to now know the, the area and, and, and how to do it. Um, the main reason you would come here, I think nowadays, if you do decide to do it, would be for the Crystallized Despairs, because this is an RNG spot, it's really not a trash spot. The Crystallized Despair, as well as the Distos, are going to be your main two money makers and your main drops here. You can throw on your level 2 gauge if you want to for some extra trash loot, but if you don't have a lot of loot scrolls, you can just stay at level 1. This also is not an Aegris spot, it requires 270 AP, 330 DP, it is an Elvia spot with Demi human mobs and it is located just south of Calpheon literally directly south of Calpheon is where we're going to be going in terms of where you want to put your tent you are basically right here off the road I can show you up here you're on this little rock when you're not in Elvia there will be some mobs around here but inside of Elvia there is nothing here so you can very safely uh, put your tent up here because we are going to be grinding all in this area down here now, the camp does have a bunch of mechanics, which is honestly kind of a shame that it isn't a better spot because it is a very dynamic spot that you can grind at. It's not just like, you know, mindlessly grinding mobs over and over. There's like some, a bunch of things that can happen here. Uh, so as you can see, there are these flags over here. You're going to want to be basically bouncing between three flags in order to keep up a buff that the flags give you, which is 10 additional AP against monsters, as long as there are no enraged mobs around the flags. So there will be like an event that does say like enraged sawnels or seething sawnels are assaulting the flag. You want to kill those so that you can keep your buff up because the enraged mobs around the flags is what causes the buff to drop. You can also get Sonal Captains to spawn. That's a big, big thumbs up when those spawn. It's a tougher mob that you need to kill, and it gives you a really good chance at the goodies that we are looking for from this area. You will also occasionally get like some field bosses to spawn around here. I believe there are two different types of field bosses that spawn here, um, and you'll notice that they are there. 
when you start to see a giant red ring kind of spawn around your area. And when you kill these bosses, you will get a buff that increases your damage, kind of very similar to how the Elvia weapon works. So with those mechanics out of the way, let's actually just get into the rotation. The rotation that I take here is very easy. It's literally just a giant oval. So you come down off of the top here, kill these mobs here. This is going to be your first flag. And as you can see the buff here, Calpheon's morale. After that, you're going to jump over this way. Those guys even bounce over, hit these few guys, these guys over here. And then I jump all the way down here, grab these dudes. And then there is a flag right here that I hit along the shore to kill this camp. These groups over here. And then as you can see, we got our next flag over here. These two packs. Then you grab this flag, go around this tower right here to this camp up this way to kill these guys and then just like that you are back at your first flag and you can do it over again very very easy rotation it's literally just a big circle around those three flags honestly there were a lot of different areas that you can grind here at the sawdoll camp you could literally just take you know three flags and create a rotation with them and just kind of bounce between them um, like I said, it is a shame that the spot is not a bit better because there is kind of a, you know, it's a good amount going on here and it feels very dynamic when you grind here. Um, but like I said, this guide is here mainly in case you do want to farm the crystallized despair here or if you are watching this video from the future and you do want a guide on how to do the Elvia Sono camp. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful and if you did, I'd appreciate if you smacked a like on it. If you have any questions about the spot, feel free to leave a comment below and of course subscribe for more MMORPG guides and gameplay. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I do very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next one.